I want to know how you got the car. A boyfriend's troubles put her in the driver's seat. Why did you put it in her name? I did not have my driver's license. And that's alcohol related. Right. But it cost him his car. Were you sleeping with him? Yes. That doesn't mean he gave you a car. He owed me for driving him around for the last four months. Oh, that's ridiculous. Why? Because it sounds ridiculous. Judge Judy. Mr. Sakella. Yes. The defendant was a woman with whom you were involved for a brief period of time. And according to your complaint, during that brief period of time, for some reason, you put a car that belonged to you in her name. Correct. And now you want it back. Correct. Do you want to tell me when you put the car in her name and why? I put the car in her name on November 7th because I was awarded... November 7th of what year? 18. I was awarded the car back in court from a previous girlfriend. Okay. When did you buy this car? January 2017. And under what circumstances did a previous girlfriend have the car? I was helping her out. The payments were very affordable, $251 a month. She was making the payments, and then the car broke down. She left it on the side of the road, so it got impounded. Once... In whose name was the car? In then, my name. My it... name. Just a second. So you got the car back from a previous girlfriend, but the car was in your name. And it could not be put into my name because I have no, just, charges. Just, 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 I'm talking about the old girlfriend. I'm trying to figure out the provenance of this car. The car was initially in your name when you bought it. Don't shake your head. That's annoying. In whose name was the car when you initially bought it? It was put into Mary Jo. Okay, so when you initially bought it, you put it in Mary Jo's name. Correct. And you put down the deposit, you bought it in 2017. Correct. And you put it in her name. Why? To help Why? her out. Why did you put it in her name? Because I did not want to have a responsibility of it, and she was going to make the payments. My credit was already good enough. Just to, let me see what you... You put it in her name because it was her car and she was going to make the payments on it. Correct. Oh, well, that's a good reason for it to be in her name. She was going to pay for it, so it was going to be in her name. What happened? The car broke down two months after she had it. It got impounded, and she stopped making the payments. Since the loan Had was... you co-signed on the loan? Yes. Oh, well, there you go. So you were responsible for the loan. Correct. And what court gave you back the car? Uh, Sherburn County. Was that after a trial, or did Mary yes. Jo... What? Yes. It was after a trial? Correct. And how many months had you been paying for the car? Ten months. So she was paying for it two months? Yes. And you paid for it for ten months? Yes. And you were on the loan? Yes. How much is left on the loan on the car? Uh, 8600 I believe. Now, you got possession of the car from Mary Jo, from the court, Bird, may I have that, please? On what date? That was November 7th. Great. And you got possession of the car on November 7th. Now, on what date did you put the car in the defendant's name? The same day. And that was because? The car was in the, uh, the impound, and I had to get it out of impound. The only way I could do that was to have it in a legal driver's name. I did not have my driver's license, so Nick... Because? Because... I have some issues that are tied up in court right now, and I well, can't... Well, that's not an issue. Telling me you don't have a driver's license, so you cannot drive a car legally. Is that right? Yes. And that's alcohol-related. Right. So you took the car... Out. In order to get the car out, you gave the car to the defendant to put it in her name. She offered to Great. put it in her name. Well, let me tell you, nobody can conjure up a story like you just told me unless you told her the story of how the car came into your possession. First was with Mary Jo. She stopped making the payments. You made the payments for 10 months. Now, when you were making the payments for 10 months, did you have a driver's license? No. Who drove the car? The, the car was undrivable. It had to be fixed. You mean when you got it back from the judge, it was undrivable? Correct. When was the last time you made a payment on this car? Still making payments every... When 11... was the last... When was the last time you made a payment on this car? June 11th. In what amount? 